Yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have another American vacuum cleaner. Let's hope this one works. This has come all the way. I don't know where it's come from. Somewhere in America. And it's, um, well, it's a vacuum cleaner we never had in this country. Well, we had a few versions of it, but not one like this. So there won't be many of these particular models in the United Kingdom. There might be some, but not many. Okay. The first thing out of the big box is, ooh, that looks in very good nick, as they say. Wow, that's in good condition. I almost thought that was new. Look at this, folks. It's an extension wand. Ooh. Proper metal with a clip and pip fitting. Mmm, exciting. Let's throw that over there. Next, we have a hose. A hose that's going to need a bit of sif on it, or jif if you're of a certain age. It's making mess, it's making mess on my rug. Now, oh, this hose is, takes me back. It's not split though, this hose is very like the hose I had on my very first vacuum cleaner. A Hoover Sensotronic Total System 5. My one came with a hose like this, although it was brown. This is a power hose. Looks fine so far. There's the connector that plugs into the vacuum. There's no splits in this hose, which is remarkable. It looks in very good condition. Just the regular sort of dirt you expect. And here's the other end of the hose, the handle end. Ooh, exciting. So far, so good. I'm still hopeful. I'm still hopeful. Next, we have some bags, which completely gives away to the viewer what's inside. Well, it doesn't completely give it away, but it is one of these. It's one of these vacuums here. So it's a celebrity. Now you've seen one celebrity on my channel, you might have seen two, I don't know, but I have got two celebrities. This will be my third celebrity. Here's another tube slash handle. Well, it's very useful actually because they've given me a lot of um, unused bin liners here. So I'll, I'll reuse those, won't throw those out again. Well, I hope the cleaner's in such good condition. That's lovely condition. That is the handle end where the hose goes in. You've got uh, your suction regulator. That's very old school. I had um, a Hoover, Con well, I still got, I think, yes, my, the latest Constellation. I think the only one I've shown you on my channel from a newer video, that 70s Constellation. I think that has a suction regulator, very like that. But also we have here some clips and those clips hold a cable mm. and they hold a cable that powers this this is why I wanted this machine something we never got as far as I know officially oops in the UK mm. oh dear well Yeah, the sticker isn't as good as I was hoping for. Hoover Quadriflex Powermatic, what a wonderful name. Yeah, that's a bit battered up. Mm. Didn't really see as see it was as battered. As, well, the picture wasn't very clear. Right, that's a bit of a disappointment. You've got a pedal here for carpet and hard floor. See it flipping over? Can you see it there, folks? So I'm assuming all that does is turn the agitator on and off, turn the turn the actual motor. Let's have a look underneath. Who is it? Well, despite despite the sticker being a little bit uh, worn, underneath isn't too bad, is it? Look at that. 
quite soft those brushes oh that seems a bit stiff this is a quadruflex as i said agitator it says on the front the uh, concept one has a quadruflex agitator and the hoover electrokinetic power head that we got in this country had brushes like this so it had brushes at the front and what looks like a sort of a beta bar behind and how that worked was the brushes would rotate they would flex against this bar and flick forward to flick dirt into the airstream well that's what it said in the brochure but all in all underneath you know it's going to need a little bit of cleaning but those wheels look good don't they not a lot of wear so a power nozzle fantastic i've always wanted one of these ever since i saw this style i don't know if the headlight will work but since i saw this style in the a load of leaflets that hoover usa sent me um but the ones i saw i think were for the hoover spectrum and the future i think came with one of these some models and i think the it was black though so this is a this is the same sort of thing but it's an earlier version i think right so there's that Well, is, is there some more in here? Oh, some more bits. So very useful to have these. Uh... Yes, I'm not just going to throw these unused bags away. They will get used up. Hmm. Well, that, that looks brand new, apart from a bit of dirt, dust. But not sure, not quite so sure if it's genuine. Oh, there's two, is there? Oh, right. Hmm. One of these, I don't think they do both. That looks, this looks certainly Hooverish because this looks very like the brush I got on the toolkit for my Hoover Concept One machine. So I think, let me see if I can see it says Hoover on it. I can't see anywhere on it that says Hoover, but I have a feeling that that is original Hoover. Not sure about this one. I don't think that one is. Oh, it's got it's got some words on it. Well, it might be a Hoover. Anyway, American viewers, please. Do you think that is? It might not be for this machine, but do you think that is an original Hoover or just a copy, a copy part? Right. So there's that. I'll just check the box. It is making a huge mess. Uh, some more packing peanuts in there. Oh, there's a carrier bag. I don't think there's any instructions. I don't. I can't remember there being. Can't see any. Oh, what? covered, covered. Just going to see where this bag's bag's from. This is from a store called. Quick trip, big on fresh, low on price. Big on fresh, oh, big on fresh meat. Ooh, oh, it says meats. Yuck. What are these? You actually, do Americans actually cook up their brats? Look, brats. Well, I don't know if brats is something different in America, but in the UK, brat means like a spoiled child or a mis misbehaving child, a naughty child. We call a brat. So in America, if you're very naughty, if you're a brat, you get cooked up and sold at Quick Trip. So they sell brats, chicken, steak, ground beef, plus more. Ugh. Not nice. Right. That's not nice, but hopefully what's inside this very Harrods coloured green bag, green and gold bag, is... Oh, crap, come on. Is a vacuum in reasonable condition that works. No, no, sorry, not reasonable. Good condition. The seller made a big point of saying it wasn't refurbished. Right. Oh, dearie me, Roger, look at the mess. Initial reaction to that is a... Ooh. Let's focus down and have a look. I want to clean this mess up. I wonder what I'll do. 
to clean it up with. What, what can I use, I wonder? Maybe this Hoover Celebrity QS Quiet Series with 3.7 peak horsepower will clean it up for me. Let's hope so. Well, folks, she's a beauty, I think. I think she's... Uh... I always, always assume vacuums are feminine, ma mainly. Um, oh, is that... Oh, dear. I've just noticed something wrong. Uh, but it's a little thing, as long as it works. The glamour cap has gone. Any of you out there, can you spare a glamour cap for Hoover Celebrity QS? Because you see that there? Well, that should have a nice silver cap on like that. So we're missing that, unfortunately. Never mind. Underneath. You see, obviously, this is uh, not a float on air. It's too heavy to float, I think, one of these. This is basically a deluxe version of the Celebrity Custom I showed you a while back. I was pleased to get that when I did. So two casters at the front, two wheels at the back. Here's the old rating plate. Let's have a look at that. So this is model S3201, 120 volts, 60 hertz, AC only. It's 12 amp. Ooh, heck. I hope it's not going to blow my um, transformer. It might be near the top, actually. I don't know what the wattage will be of this. It takes bag type H. The serial, can you date this for me, folks? The serial is 00022083. And it shows the belt, which I'll need for the... Um, I've already sourced new belts. I haven't bought them yet, but I've found Amazon.com. I've got some new belts for that. The Hoover Company, North Canton, Ohio, made in the good old US of A. The step-down transformer I've got, I think it's a maximum of 1500 watts, and that's the very top it'll go to. So with this on and the power head, it's touch and go. I really should have spent a bit more and probably got the 2000 watt one, but I was just thinking, I don't think American vacuums went up as high in wattage as the um, British European ones. So I think it is missing a large floor tool. I might be able to source that. Um, anyway, tell me, please. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, my American viewers will know a lot more about this than I do. This is the first time I've ever even had my hands on one. So there is space. I think the big nozzle, the floor nozzle, will probably go at the back. Um, that's for the crevice tool there. And then there's space for dusting brush, which certainly is missing and the small nozzle. So I think the small nozzle is possibly this one that would have gone there. And uh, where's that crevice tool? I don't think the crevice tool's original, I'm not sure. Don't seem to, I don't know if they would have been cream or would have they been white? You see, I think that should have been, I don't know if that, that doesn't really fit properly goes that side but you wouldn't have two like that would you they're definitely that's for a dusting brush so I think it's missing the dusting brush and I think it will be missing um, a floor brush anyway please tell me in the comments section below so let's have a look at the let's uh, open the bag I wonder if they've fitted a new bag or sent me some American dirt Now, is that, I thought that looked odd. I don't think that's the, the seller said, oh, it's got the original filter. I don't think that looks like the original. Obviously it takes a different sort of filter. You can actually see the motor. You can see the motor through that. I think this might, well, it says it's QS. It says it's quiet series, but what's quiet to an American consumer might not be considered quiet to a British one. Um, I don't think that that's... So again, please comment. That cannot be the right filter, surely. Does not look right. I'm sure there's something better I can get for that. <clears throat> but anyway, that's, yes, I would say that that is not. Call, call it intuition, but that looks wrong. But we'll leave it for now while we test the vacuum. So it's clean enough. You know, it's not gonna need, like the the other celebrity I got, I don't think it's going to need much work doing to it. As long as the motor's fine. 
there's the back of it all in all it's in pretty good shape so at the front on the front panel we have got the cord rewind button the on off switch there's a red neon check bag indicator and a two-speed motor low and high that switch feels slightly dodgy not sure I'm going to start it on low just to be safe because I've no idea what the wattage will be I can't see it being over f in total 1500 for everything there's the um, obviously the hose inlet and there's the power takeoff socket to plug the hose into which uh, we might as well do now while I'm in this vicinity hang on a minute whoops right it's this way on this way so is there anything to line up notice electrical conductors are contained within this hose yes I know now we think it's this way yes there is that's it that's clicked in and then you can see there is the little socket what I might do is switch it on without the power nozzle first to try it well I think I'm at the I'm at the uh, switching on stage now so I do like the chrome that is very nice that'll it'll polish up it looks very nice now but it'll it'll clean up even nicer than this I think so here's the cord it's a it seems a good quality it's a ribbed cord and it all seems it all seems fine it's not uh, damaged all right is it going to lock in place though that's the thing St yeah, uh. all right stay stay right then folks let's pop the cleaner there and I'm going to have to plug it into my special magic black box in order for it to uh, work. Right, okay then. Um, I'm going to, oh, the, the pin's a little bit bent on the, um, the plug. I hope that won't matter. Um, and I don't think, you, again, please comment, does it matter which way that goes in? I did have on the first American vacuum I bought a new one, Porter Power. It would only go in one way but there, there were slight differences in the size of the pins but these look the same anyway well i'll plug it in into my black box of tricks actually all right it's gone in okay let me just check my box is on yes right i'm just got to switch it on at the wall right okay oh, i'm just going to retreat a bit further away <laughs> it might not come on because it might not be on at the machine let's see Right, it wasn't on. Let's hope it just means. Right now, is it going to work, folks? It works. Hmm. Some people might say that sounds dry look any tips and i'm talking obviously i'm mainly talking to my american viewers any tips you've got on what i can do i don't want to mess about with these this too much i haven't got the expertise to strip it down to its bare bones but i can ex access the motor if there's anywhere that i could grease up to make it sound smoother without stripping it down um, please let me know right I'm going to turn it on again but I'm going to go on to high speed because it was only on low wasn't it not much of a difference in the noise level right now now for the big thing adding the power head so I'll first of all Pop the curved wand in, lock that in place. I think, you know, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this. Um, and if the power head works, I'll be thrilled with it. I mean, the seller said it all worked, but I've had sellers saying everything works and I've been 
very disappointed. I'd be very surprised if the headlight, I'll have to see what type of bulb that takes, or bulbs, it might take two. Right, at the top here, in fact, just to be safe, I'll switch it off at the wall. Now up here is the little power socket that I need to plug the nozzle into. Um, I think it'll probably go in that way. Or is it? Try the other way. Well, I think it, oh no, it fell out that way, I think. Hang on, folks, let me just see what I'm doing. Right, I think that's in. Okay, and now to keep the cord tidy, I've just got to clip it into the two clips. So that one there, and that one there. Right, let me just pull the cord up slightly, just so there's no strain where it's plugged in. A bit of a slack at the top, there we go. Right then, folks, let's, uh, let's see if this Powermatic Quadriflex Powermatic nozzle works. Right, I'm going to switch the machine on. I've got it on the floor setting, so we should only have the cleaner coming on and not the power head yet. Well, I'm pleased to report, it's hard to hear over the sound of the vacuum, but I could certainly, I could certainly hear something going on with this. Whoops. So let's just double check that it's rotating. I think that's got, that's going to give a lot of a lot of power. There's no adjustment, is there? Now, seeing there's no sort of height adjustment. It's a bit uh, moves a bit in the uh, thing, rotates a bit, but I think that's probably right. There might be a way of tightening that a bit, maybe opening that up and putting something in to stop it, stop this movement. Right then, I've only so far had it on the low setting. I'll leave it on the low for now. Right, it's on carpet. Switch on. success I've got a vacuum that's in pretty good shape and it works more importantly so yeah and it's not giving me fingers crossed touch wood it's not giving me an electric shock it's uh, oops <laughs> that doesn't lock you see the thing is with this I've just noticed being picky but this is the case with most power head cleaners at this time I'm sure it's a daisy the hose gets a bit tangled up if you change position too frequently. All right. Just going to give the uh, power head another go. I can see the bits on the carpet. But this time I'm going full throttle. I'm going to use the machine in its high speed. Let's hope that my um, converter, voltage converter, will cope. Well, that seemed okay. It definitely needs a new belt in that power nozzle because I'm sure it would have a bit more oomph about it. It still picked up the bits and you could see it grooming. Well, I could anyway, but um, it struggled slightly. So obviously the belt in this will have stretched. It's um, How old is this as well? And again, something you can tell me, whatever you can tell me about this model when it was launched in the States. Um, so yes. So basically, there's not a lot I need to do to this very stunning vacuum cleaner, I think it is. Um, 
a good clean and a polish if I can access the motor easy enough and see if I can make it sound a bit better. I don't want to go overboard. I don't want to risk taking all apart and then <laughs> having a non-working vacuum. Um, so it's basically the Quadraflex Powermatic head needs one or two light bulbs, not sure. I'll have to open that up to check and it certainly needs a new belt. I think the brushes are fine on it. And if I can source the complete set of tools to fit on the top, that would be even better. Right, finally then, I'll just turn off my magic black box, unplug, check the old cable rewind. So, yes, I think this is a, a positive purchase. So it's the, at the time I'm making the video, it's the third 120 volt vacuum I've unboxed. The first one you definitely will have seen um, is the, was the brand new Porter Power commercial. The second model you'd have seen, well, the second model I've opened was the um, rather disappointing concept one. Hopefully by the time you see this, I might have got that working. That would be fantastic if I could. And um, then this is the third one. I am still due. Let's just check the cord rewind. Oops. Ah. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it, Hoover Celebrity. It will go in. You will go in, won't you? Go on. No. Even brand new cleaners sometimes struggle. At the end, there we are. Um, yes, yeah, so this is the third one. I've got, at the time of making this video, I am due to receive two more 120 volt vacuums. I've got, it's like a couple of months ago, I went Dyson mad and bought lots and lots of Dysons. Well, flavor of the month now is vintage or new USA vacuum cleaners. So stay tuned because there will be unboxed a brand new, that you can still buy today, Hoover Upright, and also a vintage-ish um, Hoover canister. Another canister is coming. That's at the time of making this video. By the time you see this, I've probably got loads, loads more. And, uh, <laughs> but anyway, I'm really pleased to have this. I'm really, the only downside, yeah, two little niggles, the glamour cap missing from the wheel and the sticker on the Quadruflex uh, Powermatic Doodah is a little bit bashed up. If any of you, if you know where I can possibly get a new glamour cap, I know it's very, it's a bit of a long shot, isn't it, asking? And a new sticker for that that would be fantastic if you know anywhere but this will get a bit of a treatment the hose will be cleaned it'll be polished up and i'm going to look about look at that filter so as i said anything you can tell me about this machine any advice you've got for current if you've got a celebrity yourself you've got one of these or similar one please let me know in the comments section and thanks for watching i'll see you all very soon bye for now